We pray each week for God's peace to reign supreme. And each week, after we pray for God's peace, we remember that God has gifted us with all manner of gifts so that we might bring about God's peace here and there and everywhere. And you know how that goes. You know that we can give of our time and our talent and our treasure to make this happen. You know that there are offering plates here that you can drop something into on the way out of worship. You know there's a little white church in the back that if you're headed out that way, you can drop something into. You know that you can mail something in or drop it by the office. You know that you can scan the QR code and give online. You know that there's lots of ways to give. And you know also that you have been given with more than what's in your bank accounts, more than what's in your wallets or purses. You know that God has given you with gifts beyond measure. In a time when we are going to have a moment of quiet reflection, use that time to think about how God has gifted you and what you have to offer this week here to share a little bit of story, an opportunity maybe. I'd like to invite uh, Carolyn Mason to come forward to share with us and to call us to generosity today. Good morning. I am Carolyn Mason, and I'd like for you to support the project <coughs> our church has sponsored since May 31st, 2020, where 40 bag lunches have been delivered every Monday morning at 8.30 to Wilkes Ministry of Hope, except the last two weekends in December when they're closed. For a total of 8,640 lunches. If a holiday occurs on a Monday, lunches are delivered on Tuesday. These bag lunches are handed out on Monday Tuesday and Thursday to people who come for food and counseling. Sometimes all the lunches are gone by Tuesday afternoon. Children really look forward to finding out what is included in their bag. Of course, many of you are responsible for these lunches and we sincerely are grateful for you. We need support for this program to continue by making 40 lunches consisting of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, fruit or fruit cup, a drink, chips, and a sweet item. You can find a list in the newsletter as well as a sign-up section under Wilkes Ministry of Hope. If 40 lunches seem to be too much, entice someone to help. The youth have made lunches a couple of times, a Sunday school class or a discussion group could also make them. To get them to Jerry Peters for delivery, you can do any of the following. Deliver them to the church kitchen here by five o'clock on Sunday. Just please call or text Jerry to let her know that, that they are here. Deliver to Jerry's house or three, she'll pick them up at your house. You will be helping our church continue as a Matthew 25 church by providing actual food to help eradicate poverty in Wilkes County. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask me or Jerry or RC or Amanda. We ourselves are the ones who are blessed as we share our time, talents, and treasures to help others. Thank you very much. Peace of God be